So I'm home from the hospital. My voice is a little bit scratchy because of the tube that they put down my throat. But um, uh, yeah, I'm feeling okay. The pharmacy did not have my prescription for a few hours, so I gotta figure out something to take in the meanwhile. They offered me a um, pill at the hospital before I left to hold me over until my six o'clock dose, and I, because it was almost six, I turned it down, and now I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> um, but I'm feeling okay. It's really hard not being able to hold my kids or pick them up or anything. It's really strange. It's also really weird when you realize how many little movements you make day to day that put pressure or stretch or use your pec muscles. I'm learning even opening a car door, not good, not something I can do quite yet. So looking forward to learning all the other things that are going to hurt me over the next few days. Um, yeah, so basically I'm probably going to go to sleep here soon. We got to clean off the upstairs bed, um, get me set up with just my own little room that I can shut the door and keep the kids out because my kids like to crawl in bed with me and climb on me and they're not going to be able to do that for a while so uh, realistically I'm just really tired and I just want to sleep. My kids don't really care what happened. <laughs> they're just, uh, you know, it's another day to them. They know I got my boobs cut off and they're asking a few questions but mostly they're just playing like any other day. So Mark's been really great. He didn't stay at the hospital um, right as soon as they took me back. He left. Um, he was supposed to come home and take a nap because he was up till 4.30 last night. But uh, instead, he just did a lot of work because he had a work emergency. So poor guy is running on fumes. And he still has to take care of three kids all evening and all night for several nights. But luckily, he uh, took the next two days off of work so he could look after me. And that's a really good thing because it turned out our daycare is closed for the next two days because of a death in the family and they're all going to a funeral so realistically it was pretty perfect timing um yeah i'm just exhausted right now but i wanted to update um the pain is not that bad it's it's okay it's you know it's sore um doesn't feel great but it's really like i feel a lot better than i anticipated feeling um, and that's obviously without pain meds because I don't have any yet. So I would say it's a lot less than I expected. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but the doctor came and talked to me and he said that, um, he reckons I'm going to be a small C cup or large B cup. Um, I had a look at them and they are definitely tiny and that's with swelling. So it's going to be a very big adjustment. I'm a little bit kind of freaking out about it actually, but at the same time I'm over the moon. Like I, they could have just cut them off and I probably would have been just as happy. Um, so we shall see how they all turn out. I get uh, to take a shower on Friday, which is two days from now. Um, and then it's just wearing a bra for a while. So I'll probably update another time. I'm pretty exhausted right now and really just want to sleep, but uh, I could power through if I wanted to. It's not that bad, but yeah, so that's it for now.